Okay, here's what it looks like when you start it. It shakes, it quakes, it makes an interesting look, and you don't want to overuse this. you got to be well, judicious with it. How did I do it? Well, here we go. This is really annoying. That needs to go over there. Okay. Pardon me. I'm just trying to get my combobulated. First things first, grab a bunch of these cool any color patterns and bring them all down into the timeline. Here I make a mistake, and I only brought the first one. Well, let's get rid of that. Delete and grab all of them. Shift and bring them all down. Don't like those black bars. Let's get rid of those. Go into scaling and hit fill. Now you see I have five of them. We're going to multiply this because I don't have enough. So you select them all and copy, then paste several times. And you can have as many or as, as few of these as you want. Odd numbers seem to work better. That's why I have five. Select them all. Select them all. And then we're going to make each one shorter because they last just a bit too long. Go into our adjust duration and put in any amount in the first two zeros. I did 0 0.02. Hit OK. And it shortens the file quite a bit. So zoom in. And then play it. Looks pretty cool. Now we're going to put a title above it. Hit the titler. Choose a font. I don't like this one. It doesn't cover enough real estate. So I'm going to go down here and choose excess. E-X-E-S-S. -S, because it's fat. You can use impact as well. That works fine. Then we're going to make it bigger. Put Quake there, or anything you want to write. Highlight it, make it bigger. I'm going to stretch the sides too, and the top and bottom, just to fill the frame a little better. For demonstration purposes, you can really, this is just a starting point, you can Use your imagination to use this in any way you see fit. Next, we're going to go into the face, change the color to a bright green, which will be a chroma key green. Apply. Cancel. Go into the background, and we're going to darken it a bit. Initially, all the way. So choose black in the lower left corner there. Hit Apply. Then close that out, bring the opacity down to a comfortable level where the background will be darker than the quake word. You hit OK, let it render. And I'm rendering this in uh, not best quality, but fastest playback. It seems to work better for building things. Now shorten it so that it fits within the confines of the track below it. Let it render again. <clears throat> and once that's done, we'll play it. Or actually, we're going to go into Effects Editor. And we're going to hit the Keyers button and choose the green chroma key. Don't worry, it turned upside down. It will fix itself. It's a bug in the system and I don't understand it, but it'll go away. Hit OK. It'll render properly. Don't freak out. And then play it. Looks great. Now, we're going to make it shaky. So left click, go back into Effects Editor, and hit Camera, Earthquake, and you don't need to do anything. 
There are three selections here, but the default version works just fine. And hit OK. It will re-render it with the shaking effect. And you can play with that parameter as much as you want to or as little, depending on preference. And here you go. There's the quake effect. Pretty cool. Anyway, have fun with it, and I'd like to see what you do. So post your, your um, examples and tell us how you used it. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.